Hello guys, this is uh, Neetho Drive Pro which is kind of a simulator for or we can say uh, steering wheel for practicing games like dry, uh, you know racing car games and stuff like that you know having fun at home so this is uh, I bought this from Amazon not Flipkart and all um, and so I'm just doing an unboxing video so let's check it out alright so we have opened the box here we have the manual right and uh, here we have the accelerator and brake right there is no clutch in it uh, probably because it's uh, kind of cheap but anyways I, I will see. this is the CD that they have given driver CD right please do not break it there are a lot of people who are complaining in other videos that they get a broken kind of you know uh, CD so if it is broken you can return it back but for PlayStation and all you do not need to actually have that CD it is it is pretty much automatic but for PC you need to install it right and here is our steering wheel Let's kind of take it out Ow. Let's have a look at it, you know. So these are the different buttons for, I guess, the controller in uh, PlayStation or something, you know. And uh, this is kind of the handle. It doesn't have that uh, thing that you have to clamp it to your uh, table or something. You can just place it and, you know, start playing. The steering wheel is not as big as you might expect, you know. This is not even comparable to the real steering wheels in cars. But obviously for this price, uh, what else can you expect? And these are the wires that you need to connect to. I believe uh, in the clutch and brake as well. Sorry, brake and accelerator as well. You have similar kind of, you know, this is kind of an ethernet kind of port which you need to connect. Alright. So this is the unboxing video. Uh, hopefully, I mean there's not much uh, to it. We are just getting accelerator brake and uh, the steering wheel that's it so let's check out the let's check out the video and play it on uh, our computer and let's check it how it looks like on the computer right all right guys so we have actually connected the ethernet kind of port of the uh, pedals that is accelerator and brake uh, with this over here right and this is a US this is the USB kind of port which is directly going to the computer right and it doesn't need an external power it uh, runs by itself which is good what I really like about this uh, steering wheel is that these uh, these you know really are sticky to the surface and uh, if you're buying uh, an expensive or some other steering wheels what happens with them is you need to clamp it with the table and if there is, you're going to tighten the screw and all and it gets fixed like that but here these are really sticky and I was actually thinking whether they will be moving when I'm playing the game and whether it will be you know comfortable to play with it but these are really good and what you all that you have to do now is that you need to find the right spot on the table and just you know keep it on that and press it a little bit and there you go it's not movable at all right so I can play freely so and uh, there are there we have all our uh, pedals right accelerator and brake so uh, please see that the wires are actually not coming on the way and uh, yeah so that's all that is there to it i believe even they might have those okay anyways so let's just try out our first game nfs uh, so let's see if it works out and is it if it is supported with this so that is also important i have installed the uh, driver into the computer and this, the, the operating system that I'm using is 8.1 Windows 8.1 so let's see if it works out All right. taken a bit of time for me to actually try out different games with this and I have Windows 8.1 by the way I do not have Windows 8 or Windows 7 or something as per the manual this steering wheel is only supported till windows 7 it's not supported above that right so i have the accelerator and the brake i mean the pedals uh, attached to this 
and everything is set up now and I have tested out some games and the good news is many games are supported on the steering wheel in Windows 8.1 as well right uh, I'll be mentioning the games that are not supported I tried out uh, different games I tried out NFS Rivals for example which was not working that was a surprise for me because in Wikipedia there are many games which should be supporting uh, steering wheels but in, in NFS Rivals what's really happening is it's just working like a mouse right this steering wheel is basically working like a mouse it's moving around the car right uh, but it's not really you know moving the steering wheel or something in the car so that's uh, about that uh, one more thing that I wanted to mention was that there are some few settings that you need to change right in order to uh, before you start playing the uh, playing the game or start using the steering wheel uh, which will basically allow you to you know uh, uh, play uh, so USB so there is this uh, option called setup USB game controllers I'm not sure if uh, you can see that very well but that's what you need to go to and then you need to go to properties in the settings right go to properties then go to calibration page right okay and now what you need to do is there is this cursor right that you can see now you need to basically click on set and assure that this cursor in this is in the center right while you are moving the steering wheel if it's above or below it just click on set and again and again up until the point it's this uh, this cursor is in the center and then move your steering wheel to check if it uh, if it's moving left when you're uh, you know moving the steering wheel to left and right when you're moving steering wheel to right that basically and then click on ok and ok again that basically does your job but uh, in my case i've already set it up so i wouldn't do that another thing that i wanted to mention with this steering wheel is that there are a few doubts that people have right first of all how uh, at what degrees does it actually turn so i have the steering wheel right so this is original position this turns till here till here and till here so basically plus 90 to minus 90 you can call it 180 degrees that's what the uh, features in uh, on on the online stores mentions and even the manual mentions right uh, one more thing about this uh, these pedals right if you press the pedal just by a little bit right it actually considers that a full uh, press right so basically if you want to move slowly you might think of you know pressing the pedal uh, pressing the accelerator just by a little bit but even if you press the accelerator just by a little bit or full uh, it will consider it as a full press on the accelerator right even with the with the other pedal so that's one uh, disadvantage to this if you have more cash if you think like you can get a better steering wheel uh, if you pay a little more I would say you know you can you know invest in a uh, steering wheel which actually has a sensitive accelerator and brake right sensitive uh, pedals right other than that there are more buttons uh, on the left uh, and uh, on the right right and these are the different buttons this also uh, can be used for you know uh, like choosing options in the game or something up and down right you can set all of this up there is this playstation mode and pc mode in case you are playing in play playstation mode you can just you need not, you need not even install drivers uh, th through the cd you can just click on playstation mode and start playing the game uh, in PC as well, uh, this doesn't uh, have a problem. Sometimes I realize that you need to actually uh, press, uh, uh, in the beginning at least, you need to press these two buttons together and then you need to press uh, the uh, the left button, right, to set the pedals to work, right. Uh, there is this, all these things are there in troubleshooting uh, this steering wheel in the manual, right, so that's not an issue. But essentially, it will work pretty much fine. Uh, make sure that this red signal works when you are trying to play the game, right? I'm not sure if it is visible, but the red, uh, yeah, this pretty much is lightened, lightened up, right? So yeah, so that is it. Uh, let's start our first game, Dart 3. I'll be mentioning more games that you can play with this steering wheel in my blog. So check the link in the description. I'll be, and this is just a fourth, fourth day review, right? I have been trying and try testing out this, this on various. Uh, uh, you know on various games but uh, whatever I, I was successful in and uh, what I did really in Windows 8.1 in order to make it work is what I'm going to talk about in this video but there are more games which, I, which you can actually play in this with this steering wheel which I'll be mentioning in my blogs check out that I'll be testing it out 
after 20 days i'll give an update of the review as well but i'll be mentioning more games that you play with this so let's start with our first game dot three uh, and uh, right so uh, basically uh, i'll just start the game right i have actually tried out nfs rivals which is not working uh, nfs hot pursuit does work right i tried out nfs hot pursuit which was working um, uh, this uh, uh, city car driving was working pretty much fine with this but the thing with city car driving is that uh, you need to actually uh, pre change the gears right if it is uh, if you are playing in gear mode right not auto gear you need to change the gear once in a while and to do that basically you need to press the clutch and to change the gears what I actually do is I actually use my brake as a clutch in that game right but uh, but essentially that's not the kind of games that most people will be you know willing to play like that's like city car driving is basically to play in the traffic mode of the city right so that's a whole different concept uh, but anyways so uh, you can use this uh, and this is pretty sensitive the steering wheels are sensitive i am not using my keyboard as you can see i'm just using my uh, I'm just using my, uh, you know, pedals and um, and uh, I'm just using my pedals and uh, you know, just my steering wheel in order to move ahead, right? Right. So yeah. So, anyways. Uh, So you see for choosing the option I'm just going through the central uh, you know cursor kind of button going to single player I'm going to click on my start race and uh, discipline again uh, and yeah so basically uh, now uh, uh, like yeah so I would want to show uh, the uh, steering wheel along with the game right so uh, so basically uh, let me show you uh, you know like this pretty much works fine so yeah so basically I'll be uh, you can ch I'll be testing out dirt 3 in front of you and you can basically see how it works but as I said earlier the uh, you know pressing the accelerator just for a bit uh, consider it as a complete press right so, so let's begin I'm obviously not used to talking when I'm playing the game right so uh, please bear with me for that for taking a reverse gear in the game you can basically press and I've seen this in many games sometimes some games do not allow you to change the settings right change the controls so in those games uh, I what I've seen is to take a reverse gear right you need to press the brake and then you know you have to press the accelerator and then move your steering wheel towards whichever direction you want to uh, go when you are you know taking a reverse gear that's pretty, pretty much it You see, it pretty much works fine. So uh, please check out my blog for more uh, for more games that you can play in using this steering wheel and a complete update. And uh, I'll be actually trying out more gadgets and uh, with with my and I can let you know complete reviews of those. So please check out my blog. I have seen actually more videos on YouTube channels where people were actually complaining whether you know they wanted an unboxing video if they were giving a gameplay video and if they were giving a gameplay video uh, they were giving an unboxing video people wanted a uh, gameplay video so I wanted to make one video which has both of them and I wanted to test it on Windows 8.1 and tell people that if they can play it on Windows 8.1 or not so some people had doubts about that and yeah some people had questions that whether they can play GTA games right GTA 4, GTA 5 and stuff on this with this steering wheel which I have not tested it yet but yeah I'll let you guys know in my blog right whether you can play it or not in some games like sleeping dogs and stuff uh, what I saw was 
this, uh, okay, I mean, to say uh, for, for the person to move here and there, but when it comes to the car, the steering wheels do work, but the pedals do not work. So those kind of issues are there, even though Wikipedia mentions that the game supports uh, steering wheel, right? So now you see here, I'm taking a reverse gear, right? So you see, it works pretty much fine. So this is how you play the game. If you like this video, please hit like and please subscribe for more videos. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Peace.